Guys, I'm gonna show you my exact setup. Isn't that exciting? It's basically in my living room area. I'm gonna show you the exact equipment I use, everything to do with gaming. So let's get straight into it. Yeah, oh! yeah it's pretty spacious. I'll do a little bit of a different video today and it came to me suddenly when I was having a coffee on my sofa let me show everyone my entire gaming setup if I become a successful youtuber I mean when I become a successful youtuber I want to remember this first ever setup I have I live in a one bedroom house I have my desk in the corner here and I have my sofa and TV area away from the TV so when my girlfriend is watching her shocking programs I don't get distracted this desk and set of drawers I got from Ikea and it was quite easy to put together although I did have to take it apart as I had the drawers upside down it was freaking freaking annoying two little drawers and then three Three bigger drawers. I fit my accessories, my games and all my kit that I need to keep organized. I have my beautiful PlayStation 5 and I currently rock in the black plates at the moment. Although I did have the white plates for a very long time, it sits so perfectly with the black monitor. I just love everything black. Oh yeah. I have not one, but two headset holders. One for the black headset and one for the white headset. Yes, I bought both. They also charge my phones, my Apple Watch and anything Apple. I have not one, but two official PlayStation charging docks for the official PlayStation DualSense controllers. The black, the original white, the cosmic red and the galactic purple, which look absolutely slick. There's still two colors for me to get. The monitor I am currently using is the 28 inch LG gaming monitor from Amazon. I absolutely love this monitor. It is crisp, it does the job for me. It has a 144 refresh rate and an adjustable height adjustment, which is great for when I have my laptop open and I am multitasking. Fuck off, it's the way it looks like. I have these cheap speakers from PC World as sometimes I do not use my headphones and these just do the job when I kick back and I'm eating my grenade bar and I'm watching some Disney Plus. I have my Blue Yeti mic that I bought from Amazon which is great. I love this microphone. It's crisp and it's clear and it takes the audio to another level from my standard camera. I used to use. I have my Sony A6000, which I have had for such a long time, and I do love this camera. But a few little things that I needed to do, I needed to hack the camera in order to record past 30 minutes, as Sony automatically stops it at 30 minutes, which I think it's down to saving the battery. Even though these may be around eight, nine, 10 minutes long, these are actually probably 20, 30 minutes before I start cutting everything. I also bought the Sigma 30 millimeter lens for my A6000, and this is such a great Bokka lens which blurs out the background and it is great for focusing on what you want it to do. It isn't cheap but I truly believe this is worth the investment for anyone who wants crisp photos or videos creates that little bit of a movie feel you know extra crispiness you know. I also have my Velbon EF61 camera stand for my Sony A6000 and this has lasted me such a long time. You can adjust both legs that extend to get any height you want. You use the leveler to see if it is all even. I also have my trusty lighting kit. I've got the Releno softbox lighting kit that takes the image quality to another level. If you ever struggle with capturing great content, remember, most of the time it isn't the camera you are using it is the lighting that will make the complete difference i use final cut pro on my 2019 macbook pro it runs super well when editing as long as i've closed other programs i've used final cut for such a long time that i'm so used to it so i couldn't imagine using any other software. I also record my audio in Final Cut Pro from my Yeti mic and it's great having everything in one place. Sometimes it does get a bit slow but I'm looking to upgrade the RAM on my Apple Mac eventually and when I did live stream my computer felt like it was overheating it sounded like my PlayStation 4. Let's take a look at the comment of the day from my previous video. Eight PlayStation 5 games to be excited about that was shown on the PlayStation State of Play. 
Shout out to Feel In Motion. I loved your content from the very first video I saw and really enjoy your channel. Dude, keep doing what you're doing. It's clear that you love your work, you're producing. I think you're gonna go really far. Your skits remind me of a phenomenal comedy sketch artist called Limmy, and if you haven't heard of him, it's a great compliment. Really appreciate the comment, man, and it does motivate me even more when I do hear this feedback because you will be surprised of how much effort and time goes into editing and recording these videos. Mark my words, 100,000 subscribers one day one day. I will leave all the information necessary of where I got them from in the description below so be sure to check that out. This is the last video before I have my hair transplant so when you do next see me I'm gonna be a shaven sheep <laughs> but don't worry about it I'm still gonna do my YouTube videos. Oh Jesus, I'm not getting nervous.